1983's Blue Thunder, directed by John Badham and starring Roy Scheider. When I think of this film, I think of the old Circle Cinema Movie Theater in Bricktown in 1983. Yes, this movie turned 40 this year, and what a fun movie this was to see with the crowd. I'll never forget that opening night crowd. I'll never forget the way they laughed and the way they cheered. And the helicopter sequences are just unbelievable. Roy Scheider and a young Daniel Stern work for the Astro Division, which is pretty much air support for the police on the ground. They watch over things. Before this film came out, and when it was written, it was around a time that people in L.A. were always talking about helicopters that were flying over their homes. And there was always the worry of Big Brother coming. Well, strangely enough, 1983 is also the official beginning of the internet. So boy, they had no idea what was coming. But at this time, this was kind of a scary concept. Are you threatening me, Murphy? No, I'm telling you. Back off. That was Malcolm McDowell in one of his many bad guy roles. Fun fact, in real life, when he had to do the helicopter scenes, he was terrified to fly. When they would land, he would actually get out and throw up. Scheider, on the other hand, he actually had a pilot's license and did some of the flying. That was Candy Clark as Scheider's girlfriend, and that was Blue Thunder. You're grounded, both of you. Ground. I gotta figure out where the hell to hide you for two weeks while all this crap blows over. That was the scene stealing Warren Oates as Captain Braddock in his last film. This film is actually dedicated to his memory. <laughs> and don't miss that showdown with the F-16s over L.A., 1983's Blue Thunder, a film that should not be forgotten.